What is going on, you guys? It is that time again for Stories from the Dome. Um, so, Stories from the Astrodome, Volume 2. Um, this time, we're going to talk about a guy named Tony Eusebio. Um, you probably don't know who he is. He played for the Houston Astros for nine years. Most of that time, he was Brad Osmus' backup catcher. Um, big dude from Dominican Republic. Um, so he was very, very, very nice, man. And a lot of you graphers will probably attest to this, that a lot of times the backup catchers are extremely easy to get autograph-wise. Um, and Tony was no exception. Um, they called him, or excuse me, he has the, um, he's tied, three-way tie, for the most consecutive hits for an Astros, 24 games. Um, I believe Willie Tavares and Jeff Kent, I believe, are the other two that have 24 games, 24 game hit streak as an Astro. And they called Tony Eusebio the Astro Clipper as kind of a, a mocking him for Joe DiMaggio, the Yankee Clipper, um, kind of just poking at him for freaking having that hit streak. So there's kind of a fun fact. Anyways, um, it was the third game before. The Astrodome was closed, 1999. Um, so it would have been early, early, early September, um, like the first, second, or third. I'm wanting to say that we were playing the LA Dodgers. Once again, the Astros were in the National League at that time. And um, you couldn't get tickets to the last game of the Astrodome. I mean, it was crazy, man, like the freaking Super Bowl tickets. And then once those sold out, everyone wanted to go to the second to last game. And by the time I got hot to it, um, and me being in high school and not really having an income, um, I was able to get games to the third game, or the basically the first game of the series, which was on a Friday night. So everyone got done with batting practice and all that, and there really wasn't any graphers down on the line or on a, down the uh, first and third base line, it was kind of empty, which was very nice and surprising. And um, I don't know if I said in the last video, but the the Astro dugouts in the Astrodome back then were very very short. Like you could stand and put your hand out and like over that, and then you could touch the very edge, like where people's heads would be. Like you could touch the edge of the dugout. And so, like, without leaning down, you could kind of see majority of the dugout. And I seen Tony Eusebio there, and I was like, um, I think I was 17 at the time. I was like, Mr. Eusebio, do you happen to have any batting gloves that I could have? And at this point, I've asked this question because the Al Martin thing's already happened, man, and I'm freaking obsessed now. And I've already asked so many players, and a lot of times they would just ignore me. And so I asked him, and he actually stopped what he was doing and turned around, and he was like, well, are you going to be here for Sunday, Sunday's game? And I was like, no, sir. I'm like, I couldn't get tickets. And he's like, well, what about tomorrow? And I was like, no, sir, they're sold out also. I'm like, this was the only game I could get tickets to. And he's like, yeah, hang on. So he already had his knee pads on. He was heading out to the pen for a bullpen session. He took, and you know those catcher bags are freaking huge, man. So he took the freaking bag off his shoulder, unzipped his bag, and was like, here you go. And he gave them to me and like took about a step or two away. And I was like, well, do you mind signing them? And so he came back and signed them. Um, and this frame, this was actually the first set of gloves I ever framed. This one wasn't in wood shop. This was at my buddy's Ken's, Ken's grandpa's house, who had a very, very amateur frame shop in his backyard. Um, so this thing, if you don't freaking uh, be careful, it'll cut your damn arm off. Um, so the lighting in here is terrible. But here's the gloves. Once again, um, kind of framed, kind of like the Al Martin with two of my favorite Tony Eusebio cards. Some Franklin gloves here. Um, it says, you can't really see here, but it says Gene, um, G-E-N-E -E right here. Which I don't know what that's about. I don't know if maybe his wife's name's Gina or something. I'm not sure. Um, but I got that card signed in person. Um, but like Al Martin, after I got these gloves, 
dude, I've became a, just a ridiculous Tony Eusebio fan. Um, I would say if you were to take stats and numbers and accolades and all that stuff away from players and just go off the feel-good test, my two favorite Astro players of all time are Bill Spires and Tony Eusebio. And you're probably like, who the frick is Bill Spires? <laughs> so that's that. Um, so really, really cool. Uh, I'll look, show you all this frame job here. So these little, I don't know what these are called, these little diamond things or metal. Dude, these things are sharp as heck, dude. I mean, ridiculously sharp. And this one right here, I've never been able to get it to lay down. And this booger just about cuts my arm off every time I hold this thing. But you see, it's amateur, super amateur. It's like bulging out of the back. It just won't lay down. But So I've had this, man, for a very, very long time. I don't know if I framed it in 1999. I know it had to have been no later than 2000. So I've had this thing for over 20 years. And it's really, truly one of my prized possessions um, when it comes to my sports memorabilia collection. This is something that I could truly say that I would never just get rid of if we were down and out. Not only because I can't imagine anyone would freaking pay me more than $5 for a set of Tony Eusebio gloves, um, but because to me it means a whole lot. So that is that. Stories from the Dome, Volume 2. I really don't know how many more volumes of this thing I could have. Um, this, just like the Al Martin, was a story I've been wanting to tell you guys for years and years and years, and I've just never got around to it. Um, off the top of my head, I can think of at least one more video that I can do um, in the near future that is super cool, I think. Really freaking cool. Um, but that is that. Let me know what y'all think of these stories from the Dome. Um, something a little different. The Astrodome is super near and dear to my heart. I absolutely love that facility. Until um, next time, adios, be safe, bye-bye, doodles.